What's up, beautiful people? Welcome to Jung Jakarta. This is like our third day, but we just arrived on the first day. And yesterday, we were meant to go out, but it rained all day, so we just sacked it off. And I found out that this place, Laura's Backpackers, crazy coincidence is that it's actually Laura who I met in Gilly T who said she had a hostel in Jogja. This is really cool. I've just met um, a lovely lady called Laura hey. who runs a hostel in, in, Jogjakarta. in Jogjakarta. Hopefully I wish you to visit us in Jogja. Yeah, definitely. Yeah. It's her place. I didn't even book this place or anything and it's her hostel. It's just, I love these coincidences so much. Anyway, um, we're getting on a bike today and me and well, the rest of the team and quite a few other people from the hostel are going to do some batik painting. This is the um, camping where I was listening. Yeah. It's officially on the Sultan's property. Oh, okay. Don't pay any tax here. No tax? It's great. I will prepare there. Yeah. You follow the tunnel there. Yeah. I can take them uh, back in the tunnel. Yeah. So you come back again. So this is Duncan. He's from our hostel. He's basically organized all of us to come here. And there's a huge mob of us. There's like this many people. There's <laughs> so many people coming um, because Duncan did it yesterday and loved it so much. So he just invited all of us to come with him. And uh, basically Agus, who's the leader, the elected leader of this camp hall, is gonna sort us out and show us how to do it. So just over here, we've got someone that's actually in the process of making a batik and it looks so cool. <laughs> That's awesome. Oh no, because you're not seeing the technique, because after you see the technique in 10, 15 minutes. Just walking through the streets of this kampong is super cool because there's just so much art everywhere. Like. <laughs> what I love is how this is such an authentic experience. We're just with this these guys that Duncan met and then we um, decided that we're going to be doing this batik painting. Now it's turned into sitting around, chatting, looking at their wedding photos and then um, getting lunch with them all and then, at, then we're actually going to do the painting. It's like a whole day's worth of, of things just because Duncan had a random encounter with someone on the street. It's just what I absolutely love about travelling. It's good, yeah. <laughs> Thank you. This is our blank canvas. This, I'm going to try and do something a little bit like this. I don't know whether it's going to work out, but basically, I just typed in simple batik <laughs> and hopefully, I'll be able to do it. So right now you can see I'm like halfway through the first real stage after like designing the owl. I'm halfway through the stage of putting the wax on here. So I've put wax all on this bit and then you get it out of here, just drip it on with the brush for these bits and then like brush it on over here. And basically we're going to be able to take that off and it will leave it just white like on the material. You didn't regret it, but like first with this. This has honestly been one of my favourite experiences of the whole trip. I think because it's one of those things that's just random and you do it. 
and also the fact that there's just such a huge route that developed out of nothing. One guy at the hostel said he wanted to do it again or needed to come back to do it with these local guys and then loads of other people were interested and before long we had a group of what, like 10, 12, more of us maybe and it's just this sort of communal atmosphere of everyone helping each other out but working on their own projects as well. And it's just so nice, like look at this. Look, I feel like that looks real good. And then now it's time to do the colours like Catherine's doing. So this is the final product. They just brushed it with this stuff. Um, I'm not quite sure what that does, but there's been a, a few bits that have bled uh, that haven't been ideal, but overall, I'm very happy with it. And now it's in here being washed. And the final place we've come is to the family gallery of the guys who've shown us how to do it all today. So it's really nice to be able to see the kind of stuff they produce and how much better it's going to be than mine. This, oh my god, this one? Yeah. That's incredible. It took him one month to make it. Literally every line is a dot. That's crazy. I think I'm going to have to get this one. We've quickly come back to check up on all of our artwork and they're out drying and they look amazing. Literally. So I'm actually so impressed with this. There's a little bit of bleedage, but... It's contrast. Yeah, it looks so good. That looks it. professional. Yeah, it was so This one's cool. Catherine's. Literally. That's Got unreal. I passed art school. Way. Yeah. <laughs> And how am I in this lovely lady's hostel? I don't, I don't even understand how this has worked out. I don't know. I didn't even know. I didn't even know that this was your hostel because the other guys booked it. Yeah, I didn't know. And you check into like my place, like what? What a legend! And this is honestly one of the best hostels I've ever stayed in. Free breakfast, dinner, snakes, spider. Oh, so good. Have a lot of animals as well. A lot of animals. That's what we like. Right, anyway, I'm gonna finish today's vlog up there. Thank you so much for watching. Big love and feels good around here. Yeah.